In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the Bible. Today we continue with chapter 39. This chapter will talk about Joseph and Potiphar's wife. Brothers and sisters, let us read and meditate. Because what is written is for us, is for our lives. May God bless you. Amo Marie Louise Omo Malarongo. Now the Ismailites had taken Joseph to Egypt and sold him to, jo- uh, to Potiphar, one of the king's officers, who was the captain of the palace guard. The Lord was with Joseph and made him successful. He lived in the house of, the, of his Egyptian master, who saw that the Lord was with Joseph and had made him successfully in everything he did. Potiphar was pleased with him and made him his his personal servant. So he put him in charge of his house and everything he owned from uh, from then on because of Joseph the Lord blessed the, the household of Egyptian and everything that he had in his house and in his fields. Potiphar's, Potiphar handed over everything he, did, he had to the care of Joseph and did not concern him and did he to concern himself with everything except the food he ate. Joseph was well built and good looking and after a while his master's wife began to desire Joseph and asked him to go to the to bed with her. He refused and said to her, Look, my master does not have to concern himself with anything in the house because because I am here. He has put me in charge of everything he has. I have such authority in this house as he has and he has not kept back anything from me except you. How then could I do such an immoral thing and sin against God? Although she asked Joseph day after day, he would not go back, he would not go to bed with her. But one day when Joseph went into the house to to do his work, none of the house servants were was there she caught him by his robe and said come to bed with me but he escaped and ran outside leaving his robe in her hand when she saw that he had 
left his robe and had run out of the house, she called to her to her house servants and said, Look at this. This Hebrew that my husband brought to the house is insulting us. He came into my room and tried to rape me, but I screamed as as loud as I could. When he heard me scream, scream, he ran outside, leaving his robe beside me. She kept his robe with her until Joseph's mother, master, came her home. Then she told him the same story that Hebrew slave that you brought here came into my room and insulted me. But when I screamed, he ran outside, leaving his robe beside me. Joseph's master was furious and had Joseph arrested and put in the prison where the king's prisoners were kept and there he stayed. But the Lord was with Joseph and blessed him so that the jailer was pleased with him. He put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and made him responsible for everything that was done in the prison. The jailer did not have to look after anything for which Joseph was responsible because the Lord was with Joseph and made him succeed in everything he did. My brothers and sisters, you can see that the Lord can let people to say bad to you, can let people to say lies to you because he wanted to save you. He wanted to save your life. He wanted to uplift you. Hallelujah. When God wanted to uplift him, my God, my dear friends, he can allow to those wicked people to say lies to, to you, to do bad to you, but God will never, never, never leave you alone. We have to know because we are with God, nobody can touch on us, nobody can uh, say lies to, to us and that lie succeed. That is, that is not possible. Brothers and sisters, we have to know God can allow to those wicked people to touch on us. He can also allow to those wicked people to lie. Hallelujah. To lie about us when he is planning to do something so great as he did to Joseph. Let us continue reading my brothers and sisters and we are learning how we can be with God and when we are with God we can suffer but that is suffering what do we pass through that suffering to save our lives. Continue with chapter 14. Joseph interprets the prisoner's dreams. Sometime later, the king of Egypt's wine stored and his chief baka offended the king. He was angry with these two officials. officials and put them in prison in the house of the captain of the guards. 
in the house in the house in the same place where Joseph was being kept they spent a long time in a prison and the captain assigned Joseph on their servant one night they are in the pre- in the prison the wine stood and the chief baka each had a dream and he, and the dreams had different meanings when joseph came to them in the morning he saw that they were upset he asked them why do you look so worried today they answered each of, of us had a dream and there is no one here to explain what the dream mean it is god who gives the ability to interpret dreams joseph said tell me your dreams so the wine steward said in my dream there was a grape vine in front of me with three branches on it as soon as the leaves came out the blossoms appeared and the grape re- re- ripened i was holding the king's cup so i took the grapes and squeezed squeezed them into the cup and gave it to him joseph said this is what it means the three branches are three days in three days the king will release you pardon you and restore you to your position you will give him his cup as you did before when you were with his wine stored but please remember me when everything is going well for you and please be kind enough to mention me to the king and help me to get out of the, this prison after all i was kidnapped from the land of the hebrews and even here in egypt i did i didn't do anything to deserve being put in a prison when the chief baker saw that the interpretation of the wine stirred dream was favorable he said to joseph i had a dream too I was carrying three bread basket on my head. In the top basket there were all kinds of pastries for the king. And the bread was were eating them. Joseph answered, This is what it means. The three bags are three days. In the three days the king will release you and have your head cut off then he will hang your body on a pole and the birds will eat your flesh on his birthday three days later the king gave a banquet a banquet for all his officials he raised his wine stored and his chief baker and brought them before his office officials he stored the wine stored to his former position but he ex- executed the chief baker it all happened just as joseph has said but the wine steward never gave joseph another thought he forgot all about him today we stop by here with the meditation we can see that joseph did interpreted dreams and that was the real story of the dreams That was the reality if I can say so 
brothers and sisters with the god everything is possible you can interpret and when god wants to restore you he will he will know where to pass by to save joseph god has passed by his uh, wisdom and the gift of interpreting dreams later on we will continue the reading and we will know what was the next my brothers and sisters have a very good day a good of meditation and be blessed in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen.